time for my break. Jay, you have to help. No, I don't. Yes, you do. 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 No, I don't. Hi. You stepped in something and dragged it all the way in here for us to smell. Oh, my God. I can't believe you two still hang out. Janet, you look fantastic. It's Mahandra. Oh, you changed your name? No, I didn't. I changed mine, too. It's Mrs. Robert Horowitz now. That's our couple's card. Amy Grant and Vince Gale have them. So do Reese and Ryan. Robert owns his own escrow company. You'll meet him tomorrow night. He's much more Jewish than I am. Mostly because he was born that way. I'm sort of a Christmas and Easter Jew. So, Jay, how about I put you down for unstacking chairs and tables? What is she talking about? The reunion. Ah! Ah! Oh, I loved high school. Why don't you go then? I am. Our reunion? Mm-hmm. He's working the bar. This bar. We're having it here. That's the private party tomorrow night? Okay, I'm gonna sweeten the deal. You can be balloon filler and use the helium tank. You always enjoyed that sort of thing. I told you I can't help. My father's in the hospital. It wouldn't feel right having so much fun. Your father's in the hospital? He got run over. I'm sure you didn't mean to. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. Chinese lanterns, a memory lane with photos. It's going right over there. If I could do it without you, I would, believe me. My cell phone's ringing. You don't have a cell phone. Can I use your phone? Sure. Jay, you have to help. Hello? Hi, how are you? Fine. So, when are you checking out? I want to give you a ride. I don't need a ride. I'm not checking out tonight. Why? What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. They're holding me over for some routine tests. I'll be home tomorrow. Call waiting. Hold on. Eric's phone. Who's calling? His wife. Are you there? Hello? I said it's his wife. His cheating wife? The one who broke his heart? Who is this? Eric can't talk right now because he's servicing you sexually. Sorry. Where is Eric? Sorry. So, do you want me to stop by the house and pick up that Sounds of the Rainforest sleep machine? No, d don't worry about me. I'm fine. Well, at least let me give you a ride home tomorrow. It's already covered. Sharon's gonna do it. Her car's bigger. Oh. You're not gonna have waffles with her, are you? We'll talk later. Nurse just brought my dinner. No, d don't worry about me. I'm fine. Well, at least let me give you a ride home tomorrow. It's already covered. Sharon's gonna do it. Her car's bigger. Oh. You're not going to have waffles with her, are you? We'll talk later. Nurse just brought my dinner. Everything all right? I think my sister just took my place because I refused to get off my ass. You know what? You're not into this, I can tell. It'll be a lot of work, but I'm sure I'll manage. What's up? I can do this. I can do this. Vodka. Hemlock chaser. Right. This one's free. Your friend Gretchen's getting everyone's first round. Oh, Gretchen, she's great. I have to destroy her. Well, that's too bad. Yeah. Here. So, do you know all these people? Sure. I know that guy and that guy and her and her and her and him. And you. I guess you knew everyone in high school since you love it so much. Uh, actually, I didn't know anyone, but I knew their names and how many letters were in their names. It's a borderline autistic thing. How many letters in my name? Nine. Boutros, Boutros, Golly? Nineteen. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? Thirty-four, but people ask me that all the time. So, how are you going to destroy your friend? Oh, she's not my friend. But I thought I'd drink this, stumble over and slur something derogatory at her. Maybe make her cry. Oh, that reminds me, your wife called when I was on your phone. Heidi? What'd she say? She wanted to talk to you, and I said you were servicing me sexually. Really? Uh-huh. Is that inappropriate? Uh-uh. I wish I could destroy Heidi instead. 
At least I think she'd deserve it. So how goes the destruction of Gretchen Speck Horowitz? You know her whole name? These are all over the floor. She'll soon be destroyed. I'm just working out a few details. You don't seem like you're really into it. I'm not, but it's expected of me. Oh, right, I get that. Certain people see you a certain way, and these people are all from a particular time in your life, so when you're around them, you feel compelled to act out psychodramas that have nothing to do with who you are now. And the chicken in her hair told me to. God, she's just so tragic. She used to tell everybody the girl with muscular dystrophy was a drunk. You know why? Because she thought she was a drunk. Well, if she's that tragic, maybe she'll just destroy herself. Frankly, I think that ship has already sailed. God, oh God, pity. I'm having pity for Gretchen Speck. <laughs> is that really such a bad thing? It is if I'm supposed to destroy her. Then don't destroy her. It's more than that. I actually want to help her. It's making me sick. Well, then help her. But the chicken. Defy the chicken. Seriously? Honestly, I'm not quite grasping the poultry reference. But then I didn't go to your high school, so... So I should just follow my gut? Without a doubt. What if my gut's telling me to somehow get her no-good husband here so she could have her perfect, pathetic night? Sounds like a perfect, pathetic solution. Yeah. Screw the chicken. I'm gonna save that bitch's marriage. So, did you defy the chicken? Uh-huh. And how'd that work out for you? I think I may have killed a man. Oh, so not as well as we'd hoped then. I need to start expecting it like my family does. Even when I try to help, it's a disaster. I need a drink. Something froofy. Froofy? Anything that'd leave a good stain. I'm done fighting. From now on, I'm Faith's bitch. Thanks. The next award goes to the person with the best fashion sense. And the winner is... Karen Tyler! Oh. I destroy you. Congratulations.